Hi everybody and welcome to this week's workout. It's week 40, which means that it's our very last of this vlog and this vlog series that I've been doing ever since postpartum week one. That is so crazy and I'm so thankful for this journey and everything that I've learned and you know, just the experience of doing a vlog. I've never done that before. This is my first time being on YouTube like this and you know, it's been a challenge <laughs> while you know taking care of two kids and uh, all that comes with being new to YouTube and video editing and you know an amazing journey but I'm so happy and so thankful and I'm really looking forward now to what's next but before we talk about that we are going to end this series with a really juicy and fun uh, workout together. This week we are going to focus on the core we're going to send a lot of love and, you know, thanks and new energy to our core by doing a workout together that it looks like a pyramid or like a back and forth. So we're going to start with exercise one and then go through two, three, four, you know, all the way to the end. And then we're going to back up again and do them again in the reverse order. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So if you do want to start together with me, you could just be seated and all you need is your like mat space, no equipment whatsoever, no shoes, you know, just make sure that you have something where you are a bit grippy with your hands, just, you know, a normal floor works. Um, but we're going to stand a lot like on our hands. We're going to do downward dogs and, and planks uh, mostly. So do make sure that you add in a couple of wrist uh, warm ups now before we, we get started. Just some circles back and forth, maybe, you know, some twisting, just to send some blood to the wrists. And then our first move for today will be a side bend. So whenever you're ready with the wrist circles, we are gonna go ahead and place the right hand down on our side like this. And then take the left hand and just breathe in, rise up, far up overhead. And then as you exhale, you bend towards the left or towards the right. Collect yourself. I'm also talking to me because I am so excited to record this episode. I, I, I'm going to try to keep my, uh, you know, what do you say? Spirits to a medium heat. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to, you know, keep a low profile because I'm super excited, but I'm going to try not to be too, you know, stirred up. If you want, just add some movement, just bounce a little bit, turn the torso up towards the ceiling. Breathe long and steady breaths here. And on your next inhale, you rise up again to switch sides. So you place the left hand down this time and you follow along with the right up overhead and reach it up, reach it over to the left. Turn the torso up towards the ceiling again. You can follow with your gaze too. Now we're just going to do a couple of like a little flow. So just, just for a couple of rounds. So we breathe in, both arms come up and then you go down with the, with the right and over with the left. Breathe in, up you go and breathe out, bend to the left, breathe in and breathe out, bend to the right. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, stay at the top. Stay, 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 stay. And breathe out, both hands return to the ground. Place both hands on your knees 
grab a hold of the knees, not not like really for dear life, but just grab a grab a hold of the knees. And then we're going to do a like a rocking motion over our legs and back, you know, towards the back of the room. So you really try to open the chest when you go forward and round the back when you go backwards. And we're going to, you know, collect or connect also the breath here. So when we circle from the left over to the right, you're going to breathe in as you open the chest forward and breathe out when you round the back to the back of the room. We're going to start by circling from the left to the right. And then after a while, we are going to slow down and change the direction. All right. So this is a very powerful move to really get the juices flowing before we head into like the strength part of this exercise. So it's a great warm up for the core section and the hips. So join in together with me as we breathe in, start to circle forward and breathe out. As you round the back, exaggerate the move. I'm also gonna go a bit quiet so that I can enjoy these circles too. starting to generate inside you life-giving energy two more one two and slow it down and we switch direction breathe in go forward Breathe out backwards from the right to the left. Exaggerate the move, get the most of this circle. Engage the breath. Two more. And slow it down. Let's meet in center just to collect the breath. Hmm. Just feel for a moment what that did to your body and your blood flow. I can really feel the, the blood pumping all the way through my fingertips. In my calves <laughs> just be mindful and, and you know try to trace the the blood circulation and and see what what this short exercise did with your body it's just so awesome hmm. all right so now we're gonna meet on all fours for a tabletop position and we're gonna head into hovering cat. So from here, you just put the backs of your feet down and we lift the knees just a couple of centimeters off the ground and make sure that your fingertips or like the paw, the whole paw <laughs> is firmly, you know, pressed towards the ground and that you are actively pushing the ground away so that you lift from, you know, the whole hand and the arms and you create this separation between your shoulder blades. So really, really pushing yourself off the ground here and off the backs of the feet. Five, four, three, two, one. There we go, perfect. Just some sets of cat cows. So breathe out and round the back, look in towards the belly. Engage the neck, breathe in, drop the belly, look up towards the sky. 
Again, breathe out around the back. And breathe in, drop the belly. Pinch the shoulder blades a little bit together. And one last time, breathe out, round the back, separate the shoulder blades. And return to neutral position. And from here, we're gonna uh, set the toes back down and we are gonna glide into a downward dog. So you lift your hips far back and up. And this is the first dog of today. Uh, for me at least, maybe you've done a ton, but this is the first one for me. So I'm definitely feeling it. Very stiff, so I need to walk it out a little bit before we settle in here. All right, find stillness for a moment. Never mind if the toes are nowhere near the ground. That is just the way it is for some people in some days. Long, deep breaths. Let the neck be heavy or even look in towards the belly. And the chest reaching downward. All right. Uh, separate the, the, you know, the legs a little bit, a wider stance for your legs. And now we're going to tap the right hand to the left foot. So we're going to sort of do a toe tap here, downward dog toe tap. So we tap in the left and we turn back up and then we're tapping the right. So you alternate between the hands to tap left foot and right foot. Right hand to the left foot, left hand to the right foot, just for a couple of taps here. Slow and controlled. If you want to engage the breath here, you can breathe in when you place the hands down and breathe out as you tap to really massage those inner organs. But if you want to do a quicker you know, move, some, some faster movements, then never mind about the breath. Just breathe, you know, slow and controlled. Depends on how zen you are today, <laughs> I guess, and what you need. Three more. Three, two, one. And set both hands down again. And from here, we're going to lift the right leg up into a three-legged dog. And then we're going to come into a crunch. So we're going to bring the knee, the right knee, over to the right elbow. Breathe out. Tap. Return back up to a three-legged dog. And then you're going to cross the knee over to the left elbow. And tap. Return to three-legged and tap the knee to your nose. And back to three-legged dog, just for a moment. Heel reaching up towards the sky and return to downward dog. We're gonna do the same thing on the other leg. So you're gonna reach the left leg up, far up, and bend at the knee. Touch left elbow. Back up. Cross the body over to the right elbow. Back up. And knee to nose. Perfect. Set it down. And from here, we're going to just shift our body forward into a plank position. If you need, you can just, you know, set down the knees too to have a little bit of more of a resting 
pose or like not as not as intense for a moment or you know to just keep them there otherwise you can just join me in the high plank and we're gonna uh, we're gonna do spider-man from here so you're gonna lift the right leg again and then shift your body forward as your knee reaches forward and beyond the right elbow breathe out empty the air out and return to plank Whew. hard to talk through this and then the left so empty the air out reach forward beyond the left elbow and back and we're gonna do that move for 10 all right so plank position right one two, three, four, five, three, four, I mean, <laughs> three, two, one, and back. Shoo. That was tough. And now we're gonna make it a little bit worse because we're gonna add some spider lunges to the mix. If you need to rest, maybe shake out the wrists, do that before we do the spider lunges. So we're gonna be back on the plank position and then we're gonna kick the feet. So just look at this one. If you don't know the move, just have a quick look. You're gonna lift the right leg and hop it over here. So it looks like this. Ah. All right, shift your body forward into plank position again, and let's add some spider lunges, starting with the right leg. So kick it up, left, right, left, right. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, three, four, three, two, one, and down, zero. Yeah. Shoo. Intense. All right. <laughs> Let's meet on the top of the mat into a yoga squat. Whoosh. Ah, just for a moment. <laughs> that was intense for me. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm talking through it, but whew, I really felt that. How are you holding up? Hope you're good <laughs> all right from here we're gonna just sit the bum down and come into Russian twists Oof. so we lift the feet off the floor or you know keep the toes there for support you do you and then we're gonna head in to Russian twists so you know take your imaginary item and place it down to the right to the left, right, left. And just continue and breathe slow and controlled. Five, four, three, two, one, and zero. And let it go for a little while. And this is the last move before we head back up. So we're gonna come into a half bridge. And then for those who want to try it, we're also gonna add a full bridge. But if you feel like a full bridge is not accessible for you, then just, you know, stick around here. This is really, really good for you and for me and for everybody else. <laughs> but if you also want to try it, then after a couple of seconds here, you could also join me into a, um, in a full bridge as well. We haven't done those yet. On this series so I thought it would be fun to celebrate 
this wrap with a full bridge too. <sighs> Clinch the buttocks and, you know, push your hip up towards the ceiling. <sighs> Create lots of space. Lift the shoulder blades off the ground. Almost like you're massaging your shoulders here. And for those who want to try it, we are now going to head in to a full bridge. So place your hands on either side of your head and lift. Big back bend. And return down. Back on the ground we go. Mindful of the neck. And just up for a moment, we're going to hug the knees in towards the chest. Before we head back up to Russian twists. Whew. You know what? We're also going to add a happy baby here. <laughs> this is a celebration of, you know, the babies and the kiddos and, you know, our life giving bodies and our life giving energy and everything like that. So why not also enjoy a happy baby here? Seems ridiculous not to <laughs> when you have the opportunity. It was right there. <laughs> so just for a second more. <sighs> All right, heading back up to a sitting seated position. And let's enjoy some more Russian twists. So either keep your toes on the ground for support or lift the feet up and let's start. Placing your item to the left and the right. Five, four, three, two, one and zero. There we go. <sighs> Yoga squat. Use the elbows to push the knees away. It's really good to create some space. And I also like to just keep my palms facing each other and also to create some, some heat between the palms. Just to stay active and not, you know, slump in towards any, I don't know, it's easy to make yourself comfortable, but if you, if you really try to engage the whole body when you're doing something, I, at least I feel like I am uh, more involved in what I'm doing and, you know, it's a more mindful practice. Um, that's my personal opinion. So if you can, just try to incorporate movement and mindfulness into all parts of the body. A yoga squat. Try to use the elbows to push the knees away to create some heat and you know extension while in this move. And get ready for spider lunges. Uh, okay, set both hands down and return back to a downward dog plank position. And let's get ready. Start now with the spider lunges. Let's go for 10. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great. And now, Spider Man. So, plank position and reach the right knee up and beyond, right elbow back, left. Breathe in and breathe out when you shift knee. Two more. Last one. And back up to downward dog. Rest for a moment. Create some space between the feet. A little bit more of a wide-legged position. And let's join in on the toe taps. So bring your right hand towards the left foot. And change left hand to the right foot. Okay, downward dog. And now, it's a downward dog. And let's head back into the downward dog crunches. So you're gonna lift the right leg up and meet right knee to right elbow. Back up again, three-legged dog. Cross the body, touch left elbow. And back up again and elbow to nose or knee to nose back up again knee to nose all right downward dog now we're heading into the downward dog crunches so we start by uh, lifting our right leg into a three-legged dog and then you meet right knee to right elbow Right leg up, cross the body, knee to the left elbow. Three-legged dog and knee to nose. Empty all the air out and revert back to downward dog. Lift their left leg up and meet the left knee to the left elbow. Three-legged dog, left knee to right elbow and three-legged dog and left knee to the nose back to plank we go lift the left leg up Left knee to left elbow. Three-legged dog. Left knee to right elbow. Three-legged dog. Left knee to nose. And back to three-legged dog. Um, knee to nose. And back to downward dog. All right, step out the legs a little bit, create some space between the feet. And now let's head into the toe touches or like the hand to toe movement. So use the right hand and touch the left foot. Back with the right hand and use the left hand to touch the right foot. And let's keep this going. Reach far back. F 
four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, downward dog, the very last one. And, you know, become aware of how the body feels now after several minutes of variations of downward dog and plank. How does the legs feel? Have you gained some more, you know, flexibility or mobility in the legs and the feet? I would not be surprised if you have. And I can, note, I can really tell that I have. Now I can basically touch the toes, which I could only dream of in the beginning of this exercise. So this makes me really happy how fast the body is responding. It's a great feeling to be, you know, to be with the body and to celebrate and to be mindful of what is happening when you just spend some time together. Hmm. All right, set the knees back down and move slowly so that the, the blood can return from the head down to the body. Hmm. And we're going to finish up as we started. In a seated position. And we're not we're not gonna do the circles again, but we are gonna end with another exercise that I've also borrowed from Kunalini. That circling motion is also from Kunalini Yoga. And this one I just learned that it's called bear grip, and I thought it was really cool to see what it was doing to collect heat in the upper body too. So you take your, your hands and you clasp the fingers together like this in front of your chest. So high up, roll the shoulder blades together um, back, the shoulders back, and just, you know, pull for all that you're worth as, as if you're trying to pull your hands apart. And that is the move. So we just stay here for a while. And just, you know, you breathe in and you hold. You pull, 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 pull for everything that you got with everything that you got. And when you need to breathe out, you relax a little bit, you relax the body, and then you breathe in again and you hold the breath. So we're gonna start in just a couple of seconds. So don't, don't sit there and hold already. So just so that we learn also about the breath. So you breathe in, start to pull, and when you need to breathe out and, you know, take a breath, you relax for a bit and you breathe out and then you breathe in again and you continue to hold, okay? And we're just gonna do this for a while to enjoy learning together about this new move. At least it's new for me. Maybe some of you are, are experts and really experienced, but for me it's completely new. So I think it's fun to try something for the first time. All right, so we breathe in, hold the breath and pull. Pull, 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 hard, relax when you need to breathe out and breathe in, pull, One last time, breathe in. <sighs> breathe out. And let's place the knees or the hands on the knees. And relax. Lift the head up towards the sky the back of the head up towards the sky, just lengthening the spine. Collect your breath. Feel what that exercise did to your upper body. And actually my head feels really alive. <laughs> I can feel a lot of like juices flowing in my forehead right now. 
feels exciting, very rejuvenating. Instinctively, I just closed my eyes. <laughs> Uh, I never, never said anything about that. I just felt like I needed that. Sorry. <laughs> All right. We are closing this practice. That was a lot of fun. I hope that you guys had a lot of fun too. <laughs> Hi, people. Let's celebrate first before we start yapping away that we have done this for 40 weeks. 40 weeks is such a long time. There's almost a year, all right? That's a, lo that's a big accomplishment. Ups and downs, weather has been awesome, weather has been terrible, stuff has happened, but yet we have been here. Every Sunday I've managed to release an episode. I cannot understand how that was possible. I think a lot of it has to do with my awesome partner, Axel, who's been relentlessly like helping me do this. So I'm extremely thankful for him and a lot of teamwork with this little girl ha ah, she is now nine months we've had such a ride together and you guys have been awesome joining me on the mat outdoors in the rain in the wind and in all the weird angles that i've been throwing your way <laughs> it's been amazing and it's been so much fun such a learning journey for me too and I hope that this series will continue to live on and that people will find it. I hope that it's like a little bit of an evergreen uh, series so that more pregnant people and postpartum people will have the company that I so wanted them to have, you know, so that every woman watching this, you know, every new mom, new parent can have some company and support. That was my main goal and my main mission for this whole thing. So whenever you're watching this, I hope that you really got something out of it and, you know, that we can continue to tag along during the next episode or like on the next journey that we'll have here on YouTube. And speaking of that, it's been a blast to do this postpartum journey and to have it this like a real thing that I've been doing every week, posting something here every weekend together with Eli and Kai and my family. You know, it's been awesome. And now it's ready, like we're ready to move forward and to think about the next chapter. Yeah, so let's talk a little bit about the channel, okay? So when I started this channel, I was about to give birth to Kai. This channel was never intended to be a pregnancy or postpartum channel, but I kind of seized the moment to do this real authentic series. So that was like my my chance to do that. So I've been thinking long and hard about what content should be like the next series or the next playlist here. What's going to be like the theme? And I've also been thinking a lot about what language I should speak, because as you know, English is not my first language. I am Swedish and I've also started to teach now a little bit, you know, heading back to work. Uh, from maternity leave, I've started to teach yoga in Swedish here, um, you know, in the physical space. And I really enjoy that. And I kind of want to grow more in that role too. I'm going to use my privilege as a small creator and pivot a little bit. So I chose to, to do this series in English, even though English is not my native language, because I wanted as many people as possible to be able to find it and to get this, you know, real support and to join other women you know on the exact same uh journey that they are on that was my main goal and mission with this series so i wanted everybody around the world that could speak you know a shared language and swedish is not the biggest language in the world so i chose english for us so that we could meet here you know our kids are the same age we've been going through the same pains and aches and you know struggles and that really meant a lot to me. So that's why I chose to speak English throughout this series. But now looking forward, I will pivot to Swedish content. Probably not all content. I will probably still do some English content because I like it. And I like to, to talk to as many people as possible. But I will do Swedish content mainly around yoga. And always 
no heavy equipment, easy to pack, lightweight stuff, travel friendly. This channel is all about remote first fitness. So that's what I'm going for 100%. And the language will be Swedish moving forward mainly. Yeah, that's going to be so much fun. So if you guys are from Sweden or if you guys are Swedish, then I will hopefully see more of you. And for the rest of you who speak English or look, if that's your language, then there are subtitle features here. <laughs> and if you want to support the channel, if you want to support what I'm doing, remote first fitness for everybody, then why don't you go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the video, you know, talk to people about it so that YouTube can realize that I exist and that I cater to the remote first community. That would be awesome and that really helps me out. And I hope to see you again soon in the coming videos here on YouTube. I wish you all a lovely day and thank you again for being with me on this adventure. And now we are officially closing the chapter of my actual postpartum workouts. To celebrate this day, I'm also rocking the same shirt. The shirt from the original postpartum introduction video. How do I fit in it now? <laughs> week 40 postpartum compared to, I think it was like week 38 of the pregnancy. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I'm also celebrating by having my hair up. It feels so nice. I don't even have a hairpin or anything. Oh, I've been waiting for this day for so long. Yes. All right. She's got the remote, so we'll see if she closes the video. <laughs>